Mark chapter 8, verses 27 to 35. You are the Christ. Now Jesus and his disciples set out for the villages of Caesarea Philippi. Along the way, he asked his disciples, Who do people say I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist. Others, Elijah. Still others, one of the prophets. And he asked them, But who do you say I am? Peter said to him in reply, You are the Messiah. Then he warned them not to tell anyone about him. He began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed and raised after three days. He spoke this openly. Then Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. At this he turned around, looking at his disciples, rebuked Peter, and said, Get behind me, Satan. You are thinking not as God does but as human beings do. He summoned the crowd with his disciples and said to them, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake and that of the gospel will save it. Caesarea is a Latin word meaning emperor. Caesarea Philippi was the name given to the city by Philip II, son of Herod the Great. He used his own name to distinguish this city from Caesarea on the seacoast, which was the seat of the Roman government. Today, the city is no longer inhabited, but is an archaeological site located within the Golan Heights. Jesus asked his disciples, Who do people say I am? But why would he ask that? He wanted to know if the people had discovered for themselves who he really was. Peter says, you are the Messiah. The word Messiah is a Hebrew word, and Christ is the equivalent in Greek. Both mean anointed one. Jesus then tells the disciples not to tell anyone that he is the Messiah. Jesus immediately begins telling about his coming rejection, death, and resurrection in order to prepare the disciples for what will happen. Peter doesn't like what he hears. He, like many others, are seeking a Messiah who would lead Israel out of their Roman domination. Then he decided to rebuke or criticize the man he had just identified as the Messiah. Jesus didn't meet Peter's expectations of the Messiah So Jesus pointed out that what humans want was not necessarily what God has planned. God wants human beings to totally trust the suffering Messiah, or on Judgment Day, they open themselves up for an unfavorable judgment. Mark chapter 8 verse 38. Whoever is ashamed of me and of my words in this faithless and sinful generation the Son of Man will be ashamed of when he comes into his Father's glory with the holy angels. 